today I uh, I want to uh, lecture a systemic, systemic lupus erythematosus. Pay attention about these disorders. It's uh, uh, most common disorders among uh, autoimmune uh, disease, diseases. Uh, what is systemic lupus erythematosus? This is a progressive autoimmune disease uh, that results in inflammation and tissue damage and uh, characterized by flares, spontaneous remission, and relapses. Uh, of course, as other autoimmune disorders, uh, systemic lupus is a chronic disease, and um, uh, as other autoimmune disorders also can affect any parts of body but often results in damage of skin, to the skin, joints, heart, kidney, lungs, and uh, nervous system. Uh, under pathogenesis of systemic uh, lupus erythematosus, uh, we have um, uh, other initiative uh, factors, uh, uh, which is uh, like genetic susceptibility, immune-related, and uh, maybe environmental stimuli, some hormonal infections, and uh, uh, particular to so immune reactivity, uh, all these can uh, uh, cause the activation of autoimmune reaction uh, by um, production of inflammatory cytokines and uh, autoantibodies, which can damage the whole whole our uh, whole our body. And as uh, uh, you know before from the pathophysiology from pathophysiology uh, subject, uh, we have particular tests of immune, immune activity in systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, we have activation at the beginning time, we have activation of the antigen presenting cell, uh, cells which present to T cells, and T cells activate very closely with the B cells, which can produce uh, changing, uh, produce the OT antibodies by changing uh, into the uh, cytoplasmatic uh, cells, uh, cells and uh, autoantibodies uh, which uh, uh, activate autoantibodies uh, on our cells can activate the complement system with formation of membrane attack complexes and uh, damage our, our own cells. Uh, uh, form, uh, form, uh, forming immune complexes with nuclear, cytoplasmic, and cell surface cell antigens are uh, can um, uh, immune complexes and also are characterized by amplify immune system activation through stimulation of innate and adaptive immune pathway and requ uh, requirement of uh, uh, inflammatory cells to immune complexes, and as a result we have antibodies. And these antibodies, uh, two types of antibodies, is very important. Uh, are very important. First is N antinuclear antibodies. Uh, uh, at the onset of disease, it will be positive to 76 percent. At any time, it will be positive, more and um, detect detection can reach to 94 percent. And also anti-double strain DNA. It's also very specific for systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, nine out of ten cases occur in women, uh, and but um, tends to be more severe in men. Most prevalent in women, uh, in young age, a very active age of women from 14 to 50 years um, of age and um, more common and severe among uh, non-white population. Uh, peak of morbidity, um, morbidity uh, and age, uh, at age of 14 to 25, and proportion of males and females, of course, the small males, or more, sorry, more females, 1 to 8, 1 to 10. Why? It may be uh, um, not clear uh, it, uh, why uh, mostly prevalence uh, uh, in women, um, but um, non-clear non mechanisms, but uh, we are suspected that it's connected with our hormonal system uh, and uh, our particulars of hormonal system. Uh, 
and uh, which uh, um, parts of our body can be damaged by systemic lupus erythematosus. This is a uh, um, connective tissue disorder, so now we know connective tissue uh, presented in whole our body structures, and that's why. And this disease uh, may involve uh, uh, like uh, all, all, all this system, like central nervous system, like urinary system, kidney involving, uh, eyes and mucous membranes, um, GIT system, heart and lungs, of course this will be skin involvement, hemat hematological disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, it's very polyorganic, um, polyorganic picture. Uh, and here uh, uh, we see uh, clinical manifestation vary by race. And uh, uh, if uh, in Hispanic, uh, Hispanic uh, uh, for uh, Hispanic uh, representatives, we have uh, mostly it. Uh, it'll be as a ma uh, by Mahler, uh, by Mahler Raj. And you see in African, for African American, uh, for African Americans and Caucasians, it will be more represented uh, by arthritis and cytopenias. And uh, you see for uh, photosensitivity, more character for Caucasian uh, patients, and etc. It's particular case of clinical manifestation according to uh, race. And uh, we have here very important uh, uh, clinical, uh, sorry, um, diagnostical criteria, uh, and there are 11 diagnostical criteria. Uh, so brain um, MD, this is for uh, uh, clear, for easy remembering. Uh, what does it mean? So the serositis, damage of serous membrane, for example, it's may represented by damaging of pleura, by damaging of pericardium, and, uh, and oral ulcers. Uh, A is arthritis, photosensitivity. Uh, this is uh, excess sense to the um, sun, uh, sunshine. Um, uh, blood disorders, uh, renal involvement, um, anti-nuclear antibodies, immunological phenomena, uh, by uh, getting uh, double anti double stain DNA, anti Smith antibodies, and neurological disorders, and Mahler and discoid rashes. Uh, and also, um, may non specific manifestation of systemic lupus erythematosus. This is fever, weight loss, and weight loss it may be progressively weight loss. For example, one of our patient now uh, patient lo uh, lose, uh, lost um, about three kilograms uh, per um, uh, per one month. Three kilograms per one month. It's also very high. So the child, our um, patient, he lost ten kilograms during half a year. And also fatigue, myalgias, fibromyalgia. A lymphadenopathy and renal phenomenon. And um, dermatological picture uh, represented by Muller butterfly shape rash, by discoid lupus, mucosal ulcers, alopecia, subacute cutaneous lupus, cutaneous vasculitis, bullous, uh, bullous lupus, and panniculitis. And also you see here discoid lupus here represented, uh, discoid lupus. First, uh, discoid lupus formated from the one red spot, and this uh, red spot spread, and the spreading of red spot by spreading, by sp during spreading, uh, uh, we have as a ring, uh, uh, ring uh, shape, um, uh, uh, rush, uh, disc, uh, like a disc, like ring, uh, rush, and uh, with a pale center. And here is as a butterfly shape. It's uh, very important at the beginning of lecture. I uh, give you. I started my lecture from the showing of butterfly. Uh, why? Because this is very connected, very specific um, uh, rush uh, uh, in systemic lupus erythematosus. And also here, discoid lupus rash, and also discoid lupus rash. It's a, it's a ring. It's a ring here with a pale center rash. And this rash may represent it, may, 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 be, uh, may fi find out in um, extremities, maybe um, 
on the neck, maybe on and the head. Uh, mucous ulcers, oral ulcers, ulcerations, more character, alopecia. Maybe there are two kinds of alopecia. It's maybe diffuse alopecia or local alopecia. And arthritis, arthralgias, more character arthralgias, and uh, small and ja large joints uh, with differences uh, from uh, um, Mm, rheumatoid arthritis may involve uh, uh, some lupus arthritis, uh, non-erosive polyarthritis, not forming the erosions of uh, mm, uh, joints, and uh, uh, with primarily involvement of small hand joints and radiocarpal and knee joints. Uh, neuropsychiatrical manifestation of systemic lupus erythematosus Maybe there are two kinds, damaging of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Damaging of central nervous system. Central nervous system represented by diffuse cerebral manifestation, psychiatric manifestation as a depression, or maybe uh, vice versa, um, um, activation, uh, aggressive, more aggressive, become to be, our patient become to be more aggressive. Um, decreasing of cognitive impair, uh, functions as cognitive impairments, uh, seizures, headaches, and focal manifestations. And also peripheral nervous system, um, uh, which are represented by uh, uh, changing of sensi sensitivity, uh, or sensitivity, sensitivity to uh, hot or to the temperature, changing of sensitivity to the pain. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Cardiac manifestation uh, in systemic lupus erythematosus uh, may damage whole layers of heart, may damage uh, uh, of pericardium by appearing by pericarditis, also maybe not only dry pericarditis, may appear uh, accumulation of fluid in pericardial cavity, uh, it's pericardial effusion syndrome. And myocarditis, uh, which result in congestive heart failure, mm, weakening of heart, uh, may result in hypertension, coronary vasculitis, involving not only muscles, also can involve the coronary uh, vessels, uh, and also may damage the endocardium with Liebman Sachs endocarditis and vascular insufficiency. And you see, uh, patients with systemic lupus uh, have a seventh to tenth times increased risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. And here, uh, it was one investigation, it's very important investigation, it was in 1997, uh, risk of myocardial infarction is more than 50 times, only please uh, imagine, uh, than more than 50 times greater for women with systemic lupus erythematosus in young age, age 35-44. And here is comparison between the uh, general population, you see general population, you see general population myocardial infarction, and 50, uh, 50 times, 50 times increasing uh, chance uh, of getting myocardial infarction among this kind of woman. Why? Uh, why? Because we have also uh, damaging um, uh, damaging in system of LDL and HDL. You know, uh, in the inflammatory state, HDLs may lose their protective capacity. We know high density lipoproteins; they are good lipoproteins. You know, uh, imagine. Um, but uh, in this uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. HDLs may lose their protective capacity and become pro-inflammatory. Uh, so HDLs, normal HDLs, become to be pro-inflammatory HDLs, and they lose their normal protective function. Uh, and uh, mm, uh, uh, this is the, if they lose their protective function, it will be developing of atherosclerosis uh, uh, incidence and uh, developing of hypercholesterolemia, which also is a big risk for uh, getting myocardial infarction. Pulmonary manifestation of systemic lupus erythematosus represented by pleuris, uh, pleuritis, also pericarditis, you know, pericarditis and pleuritis, this is serositis. Uh, pleuritis also may be um, dry pleuritis or uh, accumulation of fluid in pleural cavity condition. 
and uh, pneumonitis and alveolitis, pulmonary hemorrhages, pulmonary fibrosis, everything will result in pulmonary fibrosis and respiratory failure, uh, um, shrinking lung syndrome, and also because of damaging of pulmonary vessels, uh, may develop pulmonary embolism, uh, which have uh, very serious complications as a thromboemboli of pulmonary arteries. And uh, risk of um, mortality is very high. 70% of our patients may death because of pulmonary embolism complications. And uh, everything uh, because of pulmonary fibrosis damaging or pulmonary fibrosis and pulmonary hyper, uh, hypertension develop um, pulmonary, in, uh, pulmonary or sorry, respiratory failure syndrome. Here you see a picture with the uh, pleural and pericardial pericardial effusion, which we see enlarging of heart shape, uh, heart uh, shape and enlarging, and uh, you see uh, here accumulation of fluid in low uh, edge of um, um, pleural. Uh, lesion of kidneys, uh, lupus represented by lupus nephritis, or uh, maybe um, lupus nephritis, uh, uh, this clinical picture is very, um, very colorful. Uh, in one patient, it will maybe uh, like uh, fast progressive lupus nephritis, uh, which is represented by nephritic syndrome. Uh, uh, in one patient, it may progress. Uh, it may be represented by um, uh, uh, arterial hypertension, and also protein urea, severe protein urea. In other cases, it may be uh, more represented by nephrotic syndrome, by hypoprotein uh, anemia, hyperprotein urea, lipid urea, and with very severe edema, and sarcas, accumulation of fluid in any uh, serious layers like in pericardial cavity, in pleural cavity, it will be marked nephrotic syndrome. And sometimes it will be um, uh, without any clinical picture, but uh, if you check urine analysis, uh, it will be represented by urinary syndrome, by leukocytorrhea, hematuria, or protein, mild proteinuria. And uh, also lupus nephritis may be represented by uh, seven, uh, six uh, types of morphological types according to damaging of structure, of glomerulized structures. And glomerular structures if, uh, mostly may damage the mesangial uh, cells or uh, may damage the podocytes or may, may damage the endothelial or basement mem membrane. Uh, clinically, um, uh, we uh, or clinically uh, clinically uh, urinary syndrome may be represented by urinary as I said before. Uh, in urine, we can find the urine sediments like white blood cells, RBCs, hematuria, protein uh, casts, or maybe different types of casts, hyaline casts, or maybe erythrocyte or white blood cell casts, and cellular casts. And normally, you know, in our urine analysis. Mm, uh, present only mm, hyaline cast. And um, also, it will be checked uh, the glomerular filtration rate. Uh, it will be decreased glomerular filtration rate. And of course, it, it should be uh, checked uh, blood pressure to uh, hypertension cases. Um, and um, here uh, you see red cell cast from urinary sediment of patients with chromic glomerular nephritis because of lupus, lupus nephritis. Uh, <clears throat> and there are differences uh, between the racial and ethnic, uh, racial and um, different between the different races and uh, um, ethnic uh, ethnics. Um, and um, highest uh, stage uh, of mortality more, uh, mostly character for African Americans, moderate stage for white, and lowest in Asia and Hispanic, Hispanic paradox. Uh, lowest it uh, may be because of uh, Hispanic migrate home and of life settlement hypothesis like uh, gastrointestinal tract manifestation of systemic lupus uh, erythematosis represented by peritonitis, 
by damaging of mesenteric uh, arteries like mesenterical vasculitis. It can, um, it can be clinically appear by um, acute um, abdomen, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune hepatitis, and pancreatitis. Um, and uh, uh, here is um, uh, lip, lip uh, and clinical finding manifestation. And you see in 97% uh, of cases we can find a positive antinuclear antibodies. Arthritis and arthralgia also most common. Skin changes also most common. Mild GS, uh, low complement system, fever, and um, other rare cases, leukopenias, pleuritis, protein urea, um, damaging of CNS is more rare, and um, high gamma globulins, and etc. Uh, hereditary, you know, as other autoimmune disorders, systemic lupus erythematosus may have hereditary predisposition and you see a children's risk of developing systemic lupus erythematosus is if their mother has a disease is one in 40 if she has a daughter, one in two, uh, 250 if she has a son. It's very, uh, very high risk. Uh, management. Uh, and uh, uh, management um, uh, what you should, uh, how you should uh, um, uh, treat, of course, by um, uh, physical, uh, by first you changing of lifestyle of patient. If you have any uh, uh, risk factors, a sun um, explosion or maybe occupational uh, disorder, occupational risk factors, you should exclude these risk factors. Um, medication and um, counseling, surgery, uh, we'll discuss further. And um, uh, here is uh, how grown the management of uh, management of this systemic lupus erythematosus. Um, here is represented lesion of vessels, renal syndrome, vasculitis, Digital arteritis, livid reticularis, also character for systemic lupus uh, erythematosus. Uh, what we can find in um, uh, during investigation, of course, um, in general methods, methods uh, uh, what we can find. Yeah, uh, the most important not finding in a simple blood analysis is most important finding an uh, uh, antinuclear antibodies. It will be seen in 99% of systemic lupus, non-specific, but um, uh, seen in 5 to 15% of normal patient, maybe, and uh, more other specific, very specific uh, antibodies, autoantibodies, this anti-DNA, anti-SMIF antibodies. Um, other biochemistry uh, of cells um, uh, may be also... Uh, maybe also um, take place in this disease. Antinuclear factor uh, to DNA, antibodies to DNA, antibodies to histones, antibody to RNA containing molecules, and uh, to phospholipids, maybe also uh, LEUs, leukocytes, phagocyting nuclear materials, circulating immune complexes, and uh, reduction of general hemolytic activity of the complement, and it's components C4 and C3, C3 C3 components. Uh, diagnostic criteria, I said before this diagnostic criteria. Uh, I said 11 diagnostic criteria, and if you find uh, four, at least four criteria, it means SLE is diagnosed with 96% of sensitivity. Uh, presence uh, of less number of criteria does not rule out systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, rush of cheeks, discoid rush, photosensitization, oral cavity ulcers, arthritis, cirrhositis, as pleuritis and pericarditis, lesion of kidney, of nervous system, blood impairment, as hemolytic anemia, 
reticulocytosis with reticulocytosis leukopenia and thrombocytopenia, immune impairment, uh, and antinuclear antibodies. Of course, we should differentiate from other uh, autoimmune disorders like um, um, polymyositis, dermatomyositis, perineoplastic syndrome, sarcoidosis, rheumatical diseases, infective diseases. How we treat? Uh, principles of treatment. This first principle is avoiding emotional stress. Uh, of course, protection from sunlight. Low fat diet with high content of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids, calcium, vitamin D3, maintaining effective contraception, and drugs with effective dosages. And here is some activity scores, uh, assessment of activity scores, and you can download the SLID day, for example, SLA disease activity index, SLA, SLA activity measure, and etc. You can download from Play Market or App Store and by yourself can uh, calculate the activity of uh, and stage of activity of this disease. Uh, uh, which parts, uh, which kinds of uh, uh, drugs we use? Of course, in the first place is non steroid anti inflammatory drugs, indomethacinine, 25 mg, uh, valtarini, nimesulidi and um, other non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, on the first place, of course, is prednisolone, and depends on uh, prednisolone dosages or methylprednisolone dosages, depends on activity of disease. And uh, we have uh, mild uh, dosages, less than 10 mg per day. This is uh, maintained dosages. Moderate dosages is less than 40 high dosages it's uh, one milligram per kilogram per day and of course uh, maintain dosages um, for many years is uh, five to ten milligram per day and pulse therapy with glucocorticoid steroids when you give uh, during the three day three days um, in a lupus crisis situation pulse therapy 100 milligram or one gram of prednisolone uh, it's uh, have very high effectiveness uh, of anti-malaria agents, hydroxycholine and which uh, hydroxycholine in arthritis, in skin lesions, in lupus nephritis, um, and uh, recommended it during pregnancy. Uh, anti-malaria uh, agents. Uh, it has uh, some particularities to using first line and uh, basic may be uh, used as first line and basic treatment. Uh, 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 for example, hydroxychloroquine can uh, be used in dosages of 6 to 6.5 milligrams per kilogram per ideal kilogram, not body weight, uh, not real body weight, for ideal uh, kilogram for this um, person. And chloroquine also 3.5 to 4 uh, milligram per kilogram for ideal kilogram of weight. And glucocorticosteroids. Mm -hmm. uh, in case of uh, non-effectiveness of uh, previous um, therapy, therapy, we use cytostatics, uh, cyclophosphamide um, in uh, proliferative and membranous lupus nephritis and uh, severe lesions of um, systemic uh, or central nervous system. Uh, we use intravenous infusion of 0 0.5 to 1 gram per meter square monthly uh, for not less than six months, then every three months for two years. Should be combined with oral intake of steroids and pulse therapy. On the second step is Ezotiprini, or or you use one of them. Ezotiprini, one to four milligram per kilogram per day, or methotrexate, uh, or cyclosporini A uh, in case of nephrotic syndrome and thrombocytopenia. Um, it may be also helpful extracorporeal procedures like plasmapheresis in most severe cases in cytopenia, in cryoglobulinemia, vasculitis, and lesion of uh, central nervous system, 
uh, or uh, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purple 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 uh, purple we can use the plasmapheresis and hemodialysis if uh, we have uh, kidney um, kidney failure. Uh, and here is a level of evidence, and you see level of uh, evidence. Uh, 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 it's more high in uh, antimalarial agents and glucocorticoids. Okay, thank you for your attention, my dears. If you have some questions, uh, feel free. Uh, you can send to me messages, uh, and um, uh, or you can um, write me uh, letters and also ask. Thank you for your attention.